Hello students, welcome to the Maths classes. Today's topic is from class 12, chapter 7 integrals and we are going to solve some important questions of NCRT miscellaneous exercise. So let us start with our first question that is question number 31. Evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x tan inverse sin x into dx. Now our question is sin 2x tan inverse sin x into dx. Now first of all we know the formula for sin 2x that is 2 sin x dx. So replace sin 2x by 2 sin x cos x. Now you can observe that cos x is written in uh, numerator. So we can substitute sin x as t. So substitute sin x as t. So, जब भी आप substitution करते हैं आप अपना integrand dx और limits in x सब को change करते हैं तो सबसे पहले आप dx को change करने के लिए you, are, you have to take derivative so sin x का derivative cos x into dx and derivative of dt is dt t is dt now cos x dx can be replaced by dt and we are also supposed to change our limits so when x is equals to 0, our t is equals to sin 0 because t is sin x, sin 0 which is 0. And when x is equals to pi by 2, your t is sin pi by 2 that is 1. So our i will become, your our limit will become 0 to 1. 2 into t cos x into dx can be replaced by dt. Okay. 2 into sin x is t and tan inverse sin x is t. So, it's an inverse t. So, our integrand will become 2t tan inverse t. Now, here we can use by parts. We, have, we are given one algebraic function in verb 1. The other one is inverse trigonometric function. So, inverse trigonometric function can be taken as first function and algebraic as your second function. So, using by parts, first function as it is, integral of second minus the integral of derivative of first integral of second. In dono ke product ka integral lena hai. And finally, you are, we are going to put our limits from 0 to 1. Now, in t, tan inverse t is as it is, integral of 2t is t square. Derivative of tan inverse x, t is 1 upon 1 plus t square. We know the derivative of tan inverse t. That is 1 upon 1 plus t square. And integral of 2t is t square. So this will become t square into tan inverse t. And this integrand will become t square upon 1 plus t square. And this can this can be this function can be integrated very easily by adding and subtracting one in numerator. So if we add or subtract one in numerator, we will get a function like this: one plus t square minus one. <clears throat> now one plus t square upon one plus t square will give you one, and minus minus plus one upon one plus t square. So this integral is changed into two integrals and we can integrate the two very simply the integral of one is t the integral of one upon one plus t square is tan inverse t so now our function is integrated now we are supposed to put our limits so when in this function first of all we are going to substitute t as one so 1 square tan inverse 1 minus 1 plus tan inverse 1 minus now you are going to substitute t is equals to 0. So 0 minus t 0 into tan inverse 0 minus 0 plus tan inverse 0. Here tan 1 is 1 only tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 minus 1 tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. This will become 0, 0, 0. So, this will not be written. Pi by 4 plus pi by 4 will become pi by 2 minus 1. And this is your 
answer. Now your next question is question number 32 that is evaluate integral 0 to pi x tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx. Now to evaluate this integral let our i is 0 to pi x tan x upon sec x plus tan x dx. Now we know a property of definite integrals that if our function is this function integrand if this function is continuous within this limit 0 to pi or 0 to a then integral 0 to a fx dx can be written as integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So here we can uh, uh, substitute uh, pi we can replace pi x with pi minus x. So uh, let our uh, function will become 0 to pi replace x by pi minus x. So everywhere x is replaced by pi minus x and pi minus x as it is tan pi minus x is tan x sec pi minus x is sec x pi minus x pi is this pi minus x will give you an angle in second quadrant and in second quadrant your tan sec and tan they all are negatives so if there are negative then you will see that the negative common eye will be also negative so that they will cancel out so you are left with tan x upon sec x plus tan x now if let us take this as your second statement if we add 1 and 2 so we will get if you add these two statements you will get 2i i plus i is 2i 0 to pi aapke limit 0 to pi x tan x upon sec x plus tan x plus 0 to pi pi minus x tan x upon sec x plus tan x so if you add these integrals, then x plus pi minus x, x will cancel out, you are left with pi only. Tan x upon sec x plus tan x will remain as it is. Now to integrate this function, we can change this function into sin cos. So tan x upon sec x plus tan x. can be written as sin x upon cos x upon 1 upon cos x plus sin x upon cos x. So cos x will cancel from numerator and denominator and you are left with sin x upon 1 plus sin x. So we have replaced this our function with sin x upon 1 plus sin x. And this is, this function is very simple to be integrated. We can rationalize our function. So, we will do rationalization. We are going to multiply and divide by 1 minus sin x. So, it won't affect your function. But in numerator, you will get sin x minus sin square x. And in denominator, 1 plus sin x and 1 minus sin x will become 1 minus sin square x and 1 minus sin square x can be replaced by cos square x. So 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x is replaced by cos square x. Now we can distribute our denominator. So if you distribute your denominator ko distribute karenge, then you will get sin x upon cos square x that will become tan x into sec x minus sin square x upon cos square x will become tan square x. Okay. Now tan x sec x ko aapko integrate karna aata hai. You know that the integral of tan x sec x is sec x. But tan square x ko integrate karna aapko nahi aata. So tan square x can be replaced by sec square x minus 1. So it will become minus x square x plus 1 and now we are going to integrate all 3. 
टेन एक्स सेक एक्स का इंटीग्रल सेक एक्स सेक्स स्क्र एक्स का इंटीग्रल टेन एक्स एंड वन का इंटीग्रल एक्स नाउ यू हैव इंटीग्रेटेड योर फंक्शन सो वी आर सपोज टू फाइन पुट सब्सटीट्यूट आर लिमिट्स नाउ नाउ इफ वी पुट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू पाए फर्स्ट सो सेक पाए माइनस टेन पाए प्लस पाए माइनस इफ वी पुट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सेक जीरो माइनस टेन जीरो प्लस जीरो नाउ सेक पाए इज माइनस वन टेन पाए इज जीरो एंड पाए विल रिमेन एज इट इज सेक जीरो इज वन टेन जीरो इज जीरो एंड जीरो विल रिमेन एज इट इज एंड दिस विल गिव यू माइनस वन प्लस पाए एंड दिस विल बी माइनस वन सो यू फाइनल आंसर इज पाए बाय टू इन टू पाए माइनस टू एंड दिस इज योर फाइनल आंसर नाउ लेट इज टेक अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री Evaluate integral one to four modulus x minus one plus modulus x minus two plus modulus x minus three dx. First of all, we can uh, separate the all three modulus function into three integrals. So zero, one to four integral integrate the modulus x minus one dx. Plus integrate modulus x minus two within our limits one to four, and plus integrate modulus x minus three between one to four. And now we have considered this as your i one, this as your i two, and this as your i three. Now we are going to find the three integral separate. So your i one is integral zero one to four modulus x minus one. First of all, we are going to define our modulus function. Modulus function is the critical point of modulus x minus one is one. So one ke pehle one ke left side me your function will be negative and negative is of x minus one is one minus x and to the right of one when x is greater than equals to one your function is positive so mod Positive function will give you x minus one. So, अब आपका one से four के बीच में one one से four के बीच में अगर आपको integrate करना है तो one से four के बीच में आपका function whole solely positive है. So you are going to integrate. You can draw modulus function modulus sign and you are supposed to integrate x minus one between one to four. Integral of x is x square minus x square upon two, and integral of one is x. Now we are going to put our limits. Replace x by four first. Four square by two minus four minus. Then replace x by one. So one upon one square upon two minus one. So it will give you eight minus four. That is four. And this will give you one by two minus one. That is minus half. Minus se multiply ho ke positive half aega, and your final answer is nine by two. And now consider your i two. That is integral one to four modulus x minus two dx. So first of all, you are going to define your modulus x minus two function. The critical point for this function is x is equals to two. So To the left of two, your function is negative. To the right of two, your function is positive. So to the left of two, आपको अगर one से four के बीच में integrate करना है, and your function changes at two, तो to the left of two, your function is negative. So one से two तक आप negative function को integrate करेंगे, and two between two to four, you are going to integrate your positive function that is x minus two. Now integral of two is two x. Integral of x is x square by two. Similarly, integral of x is x square by two and two is two x. Okay, and by substituting our limits, first of all we are going to put two in this function. 
minus we are going to put x is equal to 1 in our function plus plus will remain as it is in this function you are going to put x is equal to 4 first minus then x is equal to 2 and you will get 4 minus 2 minus 2 minus half plus 8 minus 8 minus 2 minus 4 and that will give you 2 minus 3 by 2 plus 0 My, this will give you minus 2 so finally it will become plus 2 and your final answer is 5 by 2 now we are going to consider our third integral that is integral z 1 to 4 modulus x minus 3 dx. Again we are going to first define our modulus function. So the critical point of this function is x is equal to 3. To the left of 3 your function is negative. To the right of 3 your function is positive. So if in between 1 to 4 your function changes at 3. So to the left of 3, between 1 to 3 you are going to integrate your negative function. Between 3 to 4 you are, you are going to integrate positive function. So the integral of 3 is 3x. x is x square by 2. x is x square by 2 and 3 is 3x. And now we are going to substitute our limits. First of all, we are going to put in this function x is equal to 3 minus then x is equal to 1 plus then in this function you are going to put x is equal to 4 minus then x is equal to 3 and then and your final answer will become 5 by 2. Now we know that our first statement tells you that i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3. So, aap i1 ka answer, i2 ka answer or i3 ka answer agar add karenge then you will get your answer for i. So your i will be i1 plus i2 plus i3 and your final answer is 19 by 2. Now let us consider your question number 34. Prove that integral 1 to 3 1 upon x square into x plus 1 dx is equals to 2 by 3 plus log 2 by 3. So first of all let us consider your left hand side let i is equals to integral 1 to 3 1 upon x square into x plus 1 dx. Now our function is a rational function with denominator factorizable. So we can use partial fraction here. So using partial fraction let our integrand is it can be written as uh, the sum of three fractions your first factor is a linear factor. So a by x. Introduce a constant a for first linear factor. Then the same linear factor ka square hota hai. So you are going to introduce another constant b upon x square. Plus for x plus 1 you are going to take a third constant that is c. Now if we compare the coefficients. Uh, First of all, denominators, LCM lenge right hand side mein, denominator will cancel out and you are left with 1 is equals to. Iske niche already x likha hai, to a ka x or x plus 1 se aap multiply karenge. B ke niche x square is already written there, so you are going to multiply by x plus 1. C ke niche x plus 1 is also already written, so you are going to multiply c by x square. So this will become ax square plus ax, bx plus b plus cx square. Now we can compare the coefficients of x square then x and then constant terms. Now comparing the coefficients of x square a plus c is equals to 0 to the left side your coefficient of x square is 0 so a plus c is 0. Now comparing the coefficients of x a plus b and to the right side to the left side your term for x coefficient of x is 0. So a plus b is again 0. And constant terms agar aap compare karenge. So b will be equals to 1. Okay. 
नो इन तीनों को सॉल्व करके आप ए बी सी की वैल्यू निकालेंगे बी ऑलरेडी आपका वन आ चुका है अगर इसमें आप बी को वन पुट करेंगे यू विल गेट ए इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अब इस वाली इक्वेशन में अगर आप ए को माइनस वन पुट करेंगे देन यू विल गेट सी इज इक्वल्स टू वन सी यू हैव गॉट द वैल्यूज ऑफ ऑल थ्री कॉन्स्टेंट्स नो सब्सटीट्यूट दिस दिस द वैल्यू ऑफ ए बी सी इन वन सो वी विल गेट वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेयर इन टू एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन now we can integrate both sides so if you integrate both sides we will get an integral between 1 to 3 we will get this will become your i integral of 1 upon x is log x integral of 1 upon x square integral of 1 upon x square aap kaise nikal sakte hain you can write it as x is to the minus 2 So this is minus two plus one upon minus two plus one, and that is minus one upon x. So we I have written integral of one upon x square is minus one upon x between one to three, and integral of x plus one can be treated as x linear in x can be treated as x, but in turn you are going going to divide uh, your answer with the derivative of that linear, and the derivative of This linear is one only, so the one upon x plus one is log x plus one within our limits one to three. Now we are going to put our limits minus. So your का बाहर ही है log three minus log one. ये minus मैंने बाहर ले लिया है one upon x के अंदर आप three one to three limit डालेंगे तो one upon three minus one plus बाहर है log of three x के जब को three put करेंगे log four minus log two. Now log one is zero, so this will become minus log three. This is minus two by three. Minus already bahar hai plus two by three, and this is log four minus log two. That is log of four upon two. That is log two only. Now these two logs can be combined. Log of m minus log of n can be written as log of m upon n. So this is your final answer. Now, your next question is question number thirty-five. That is, in this question, you are going to prove you have to prove that integral zero to one x into e raised to the x dx is one. So, consider your left hand side, and your left hand side you have you are give you have to integrate a uh, the product of two functions. So, we can use by parts, and in by parts you are You have one algebraic function and one exponential, so algebraic can be treat, uh, treated as your first function and exponential can be treated as your second function. So first function as it is, integral of second minus integral of derivative of first, integral of second dx, and finally we are going to put our limits. That is zero to one. Integral of e raised to the power x is e raised to the power x only. Derivative of x is one only. And this will become again integral of e raised to the power x, and that is e raised to the power x only. And finally, we are going to put our limits. So in this function, if we put x is equals to one, one into e raised to the power one minus e raised to the power one minus. If you put x is equals to zero here, we will get this. This will cancel out, and this will become zero. And e raised to the power zero is one, so your final answer is one. So students, if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of each my upcoming videos. Uh, and thanks for watching my videos. Have a nice day. Goodbye.